Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. You're staring at my Blackstone griddle. Today, here where I live, it's in the 90s. It's hot, it's muggy outside. So, I know I'm cooking outside, but I'm going to cook my whole supper on the griddle. And that way it doesn't take long. That way I'm not in the kitchen with my oven on and my stove top on. Heating up the house more for the air conditioning to work more. And I can just clean this up. So let's get started. First I am starting with my seasoned and marinated uh, chicken breast. These were three chicken breasts that I cut lengthwise to thin them out a little bit. Put my seasoning on them. Now that's strips because that's how my daughter wanted them. But uh, I'll leave a link to how I make that in the description box below. But I've heated up my griddle on high. Okay, there's my chicken. Now right here, I'm going to put my fried potatoes. And I've showed how I fried my potatoes. They're the easiest thing. But now I'm going to show you kind of how I do it a little bit different. Now that I've brought, bought a cover. And then uh, we're just going to have some green beans. But for my fried potatoes, and they are wet because I just drained them and seasoned them, I do put down a little bit of oil and then carefully just dump them on. Now I sliced my potatoes about the same thickness and everything. So I am going to turn my griddle down to medium now and I have my cover and I will leave links in the description box below. It won't be for this same one but these are excellent and I am going to squirt a little bit of water on here again and we're going to cover them. And I'm turning my griddle down. I'm really using these two sides and I'm going to cut this side almost to a very low because that will be where we put our green beans. Now, since I do have raw chicken, I have two of these spatulas. This one's for the potatoes, the other one's for the chicken, and my tongs that I use for the chicken. I keep that separated so there's no cross-contamination or anything. Okay, I'm going to carefully remove my cover. water in my squirt bottle. And I will continue to do that until they start getting soft and then I'll remove the cover all together. Alright, I'm going to flip over my chicken. And I can also use that cover, that lid, to cover up my chicken for a bit, too. To give it like an oven-like effect on. A little bit more water. Here's a close-up of my green beans. Like I said, I took a can of French-style green beans. I drained them. I did add a little bit of oil to it, a little bit of minced garlic, some cherry tomatoes that I needed to use up. And when I'm boiling my green beans anyway, I don't use a lot of water. I do add a little bit of oil, and I like to fry them. So this won't take long at all to heat up out here. They need about five more minutes with the cover on. And then they'll be ready to uh, take the cover off and scatter them out and let them get browned up. Okay, these little chicken chunks, they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them up. 
put them in a pan, cover them, and keep them warm until everything else is ready. Okay, now my potatoes, they're ready for me just to scatter out and let them get good and browned. Now I'm going to take this and cover up my chicken. And I didn't parboil these or anything. Alright, my chicken and my potatoes are done. So I'm going to take them up, just set them in my stove on the house. And then I'll bring you back to do the green beans. Because like I say, them won't take but a couple of minutes to cook. Okay, I'm cutting the first three eyes off on the griddle. And I still got that last one on low. Seeing the little tomatoes will be warm through, but won't be all mushy. And by the time my son gets back out here with the serving pan, I'm going to put them in. I put them all in. I put everything in one big serving throwaway type tin pan. These are done. So I will meet you inside, and we'll plate it up and try some. Which I know everything's good. I've had everything before except the green beans. Okay, I went outside to uncover and light my griddle at exactly 5 o'clock. When I brought this whole tray in the food that was done, it's 534. Quick and easy. And I about got the griddle halfway cleaned already. So I'll bring you back to try it. Okay, y'all don't laugh at my portion sizes. <laughs> But this chicken was very tender, look. It just slices right through it. Alright, try a bite. Has a lot of flavor. Didn't take long to cook. It's not all oily or greasy. And it's very tender. Now for the green beans. Mmm. Alright, I like them better this way than cooked on top of the stove. That's very good. And, of course, I know the potatoes are good. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by as I cook my whole meal on my Blackstone griddle. Do you have anything that you would like to see me cook on my Blackstone griddle? Please let me know in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all.